In this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the 7 Artisans 35mm f1.2 manual lens for the Canon M50. Baka magusto mo tong lens na to. Baka lang naman. Okay, just a quick disclaimer, this is not gonna be a technical or in-depth review of the lens, but more of summary of my experience in using this lens for both photo and video. And I'll be sharing the things that I like and the things that I don't mm. like about this lens. So with that out of the way, let me start with the first thing that I like about this lens, which is its wide aperture. As you know, this lens can open up to f1.2, which can be a very good lens for low light situations, but I let you be the judge. Let me show you some footages of the Canon M50 using this lens set at f1.2 aperture shot during nighttime and let me know in the comment section if you find it clean or grainy or noisy or whatever. Just let me know in the comment section. And because it has a wide aperture, this lens can easily be a bokeh monster for your Canon M50. Because at f1.2, you will get that shallow depth of field or blurry background for your photos and videos. Another thing that I like about this lens is its focal length at 35mm or... Uh, mm, wait... 56 millimeter full frame equivalent. And for me who is used to shooting with a zoom lens at 17 to 50 millimeter focal range, I find the 35 millimeter a sweet spot for the wide and medium shots that you can get for both photos and videos. This lens is also very compact that it can literally fit in your pocket but also has its disadvantage, which I'll be discussing later on. And you might be wondering why I haven't talked about the sharpness and image quality that this lens can produce, and that's because for me, those two things are subjective to whoever is looking at the footage or the image. So I'll let you be the judge again. I'll be flashing some photos and videos on the screen and let me know in the comment section what you think about the quality and the sharpness of these footages. Okay, so those are the things that I like about this lens. Now let me head over to the things that I don't like about this lens. And first on the list is the focus ring. Because of its form factor and size, I find that the focus ring is too small for me, especially that I got used to the bigger lens like the Sigma 17-50. to Another thing that I don't like about this lens is it has no aperture lock. There were several times that I thought I was still shooting at f2.8 only to find out that the aperture ring already slid down to f1.4 which can sometimes ruin your exposure. So that's something that I wish they will update or they will change in their future lens. I'm not sure if the Mark II or the F0.95 lens already has an aperture lock, so I wish it has. Seven Artisans, let me know if you want that lens reviewed. <laughs> okay, down to the last thing that I think is a disadvantage for this lens, especially for handheld shooting, is its weight. For me, it's too light for handheld shooting that it has a tendency to produce obvious camera shakes. I know that you'll tell me that, you know, you can edit that in post, stabilize, and all that good stuff, but you know, I'm just saying. So those have been my thoughts on the 7 Artisans 35mm f1.2 manual lens for your Canon M50. If you want to purchase this lens, I'll put a link in the description box. Go ahead and check it out. And before I end this video, I just want to give a big shout out and thanks to 7 Artisans Philippines and Attitude Digital for sending me this lens to test and review. You can check out their Facebook page or their website for more photography, videography, content creation gear, and accessories. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page if you want to avail some discounts on anything that Altitude Digital is selling. Yeah. And huge shout outs to Harold Puliran, Joven Peha, Jeff Heronimo, Aranas Film. Check out their channels, subscribe. And I'm gonna end this video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.